another fabric to, to steam and use texture magic with and it's wool. We see a lot of popularity of people using wool right now for both applique, for a lot of um, gift projects and other such things. And this too can be used with texture magic. And we sewed this on texture magic. I didn't trim it because I wanted you to see the actual texture magic on the back and on the front. I sewed it from the front and I used a variegated cotton with the wool. You can use anything. There's no reason why you couldn't use metallic or anything else. But I wanted to show it before I steam it so that you can get a feel for how the one inch change of the King Tut. Of the King Tut right here, which I was using, the King Tut. It's also nice having the, the heavy th thread like King Tut because it really shows up in the wool. It doesn't get down in the fibers. And right. You have to also, the thicker the fabric, the thicker the thread that should be used if you want to see your stitching. If you don't want to see your stitching, then you will use a fine thread. But this I'm trying to get a double effect of having decorative stitching decorative thread and then a thick wool and then we'll see what happens. So we're going to steam it now. This is what's so nice about this little steamer. You plug it in and boy that didn't take long at all to get hot steam in there. You want me to do it? Yeah. All right and again because I'm using a steamer where the bottom doesn't get hot I can set it right down on top. If I was using a steam iron to do this I'd want to hold it up above it a little bit. I wouldn't want to touch the texture magic with my hot iron. Not that it would ruin it again, but it makes it kind of stiff and crackly. We find with the steamer too that you can really get some speed up and it, and it happens to it affect this really yeah, fast. The texture magic just steams and is great. These steamers are available through Superior Threads. Uh, we carry it for the convenience of our customers. We don't make it, but we do carry it. Okay, I think she's done. See how nice and flat it is all the way across? Again, because it shrinks evenly in every direction, when you're done, you've got a flat piece of fabric. But look at this side. Wow. Isn't that cool, how that textured with the decorative serpentine stitch? Yes. So, here we have it's a pretty plain back, but look at the effect on the front. Then you can take this, cut it up, and then go ahead and use it in Santa's beard or anywhere else that you'd want this kind of effect for wool. And that's wool.